It's time to let the power go to your head. Here are the best management games you can play on PC right now. Sometimes, after a day of absolutely nothing going your way, it's nice to load up a game where it's all about you. Where you are the difference between life and death. Where you heal the world of absurd ailments. And where you are the all-powerful god who controls just how much salt goes on the fries. It's time for the best management games you can play on PC in 2020. Oh, and if it's the first time you've been on the channel, hello, we like fries. Hit that subscribe button to make sure you never miss a video and the notification bell to find out exactly when the next one hits. For now though, it's all about control. There shouldn't really be such a thing as a cosy death management sim. But here we are in 2020 with a frankly glorious mashup. Taking over from Sharon as the fairy master of the dead, let's face it, he's been at it for a while, Spiritfarer introduces us to Stella and her cat Snowdrop. This pair must take over a new ship, build residences and gardens on its deck, and make sure that the souls of the dead are content before passing over into the great beyond. Not only is there a hug button and some dangerously addictive fishing, but Spiritfarer is a beautifully poignant reminder of the importance of the little things in life and what truly matters. With beautiful Ghibli stylings and a truly compelling building and management loop, this is genuinely one of the loveliest surprises of the year. Early access is brilliant for many reasons. It's a perfect place for developers to learn what the community wants, a place to iron out bugs, and somewhere that we can truly feel like we discover incredible new games long before they meet their final form. Factorio is the ultimate make-everything-out-of-nothing simulation. And as of August 2020, it's finally ready. Your careful management of endless production lines takes you from landing on a rogue planet where the wildlife really isn't so keen to constructing sprawling machines of endless productivity. Yes, you still need to keep it safe from angry wildlife, but Factorio's conveyor belts of infinite industry can spread as far and wide as you like. Sometimes it's enough just to load it up and watch your favourite machinery fest work hard so you don't have to. Ah, <sighs> wait. Ah! 20 years on from Will Wright's original dollhouse builder and we still can't get enough of saying soul soul to new sims. The Sims 4 is actually six years old, but of course, all manner of add-ons, stuff packs and expansions mean that Matt here can grow a tail, befriend dolphins, eat spicy food as part of a festival, try his hand at gardening, or spend his days playing video games while locked in a room with a crying clown. <laughs> <laughs> and, just like when you were playing 20 years ago, you're going to still spend tens of hours building yourself a house. But now, you can even add the extra challenge of building in miniature with the tiny living expansion. you want to manage a house of cats and dogs, test your morality as a vampire, or even head to Batu of Disney's Star Wars Galaxy's Edge fame, diving into The Sims 4 has never been more attractive. Well, hello, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Complete Edition. We've missed you. It's been unavailable on Steam for a couple of years, but the classic theme park builder is now back in 1080p for 2020. And that complete add-on means that both DLC packs, Soaked and Wild, are also included. This means water parks and animal exhibits, as well as building roller coasters with enough G-force to make your visitors or, well, peeps, feel like they're being crushed into small cubes. This 
is also officially the first time the game has ever been available in widescreen, a fact that will probably make you feel about 80 years older than you actually are. But don't let that put you off. If it was Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 that made you fall in love with theme park sims in the first place, everything you fell for is back in less offensively pixelated form. And yes, of course you can pop the balloons. There's something in our dino DNA that means we can't help but just love a zoo sim with an extinct twist. Parkasaurus is now finally out of early access. And while it looks like a much cuddlier version of Jurassic World Evolution, don't let that distract you from the in-depth park management. Yes, you can put hats on your dinosaurs. Don't you just look like a clever girl? But research and development is just as vital to run a successful park where the attractions don't just eat the tourists. Well, much. And biodiversity is important here too. Whether wearing adorable hats or not, your dinosaurs really don't like being gawped at day in, day out. So you'll need to find a way to meet their needs as well as the ones of your paying customers. But find the balance and you'll do what John Hammond never managed to. Well, sparing no expense, of course. might have just celebrated its second birthday, but Two Point Hospital is still an X-ray of sunshine in 2020. Even if you armed yourself with digital antibiotics and battled all the original maladies, such as lightheadedness and chest infections at the time, there has been regular repeat prescriptions of DLC. The latest of which is the Off the Grid Pack, focusing on using renewable energy to drive ultra-green hospitals into the future. And, of course, that means a whole new set of puns and ailments. And more of Two Point Hospital's especially dry sense of humour to keep everything light. Oh, attention. Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. If you've never loaded it up, this hospital simulation perfectly balances laying out satisfying GP's offices, treatment rooms and benches with a challenging set of objectives and, well, the ability to vacuum up ghosts. We wouldn't want the hospital inspector to see this. Then, Spectre? Oh, never mind. No one appreciates me. Management is all about control. Making sure you've got a plan A, plan B, and plan C you later when the zombies still come swarming in anyway. They are billions, as is quite clear from the title, will be more plan C, at least initially, until you work out how to keep the hungry apocalypse from devouring the last juicy humans hiding behind the walls of your own fortress. Now out of early access and complete with the new Empire campaign, They Are Billions is a management game with a serious dollop of strategy. This is tower defence with twitching nerves as you try desperately to keep your survivors alive long enough to build better defences and evolve. Whether you're on campaign missions or focused on one survival experience in a randomly generated world, They Are Billions is constantly an exercise in stress and survival. It's enough to make you miss Plants vs Zombies. I could really do with a fume shroom right about now. And now, the time has come to no longer live hidden like rats behind the walls of the great crater. Even in 2020, this list could pretty much exclusively be packed with Frontier's perfect 21st century theme park sims. But I'll leave that to our list of the best games to play if you can't get enough roller coasters. For now though, I'll just choose one, and that has to be Planet Zoo. Sure, the baby animals are, oh my god, don't you just want to squeeze it, cute? But as management games go, this is a multi-layered environmental challenge. 
given that zoos are no longer alluring purely for those aforementioned cutes, your wildlife park has to be big on not just animal happiness, but also conservation. European guests want to see animals in the best habitats, but also know that they're in safe hands when it comes to the global situation. Breeding programs are as important as one-way glass and tiger toys. And incredibly, a genetic system means that your squee-worthy babies will even have similar features to mum and dad. Oh. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get really hands-on. City builders feel like ultimate comfort blanket games. The chance to close the curtains, make a hot drink and settle down to make the hours disappear as you prove that Rome maybe could have been built in a day. Anno 1800, then, is the perfect what-time-is-it-again game a city constructor that spans decades and centuries as you watch your tiny village evolve into a bustling city. And since it came out in 2019, there has been no shortage of DLC. Despite an overwhelming number of individual bricks to build already, Ubisoft has added a free day-night cycle update, a botanical garden pack for all the digital greenery your city could ever want, and this year's Seat of Power edition that lets you construct a palace for your industrial empire. Yes, that feels like it'll do. Thank you. Once again, I am indebted to you. And finally, if Matt gets to put Skyrim on every list he ever writes, then I get to mention Stardew Valley at least once more. Maybe you're one of those people who specifically because of four years of hype has purposefully avoided Eric Barone's farm management fest. It's okay, I get it, but perhaps now that it's in its most evolved form, complete with late last year's everything update, it might just be time to don some boots that you don't really mind getting muddy. Everything in Stardew has been built to draw you in. Every daily loop is a satisfying exercise in organisation and perfect production. Making mayo from eggs and cheese from milk is more pleasing than it has any right to be. Throw in the satisfaction of building perfectly placed sprinkler systems and managing your very own farm is the ultimate cosy dopamine machine. So that's the very best management games you can play on PC right now. Let us know your favourite organisation em ups in the comments below, drop us a like if you too can't stop playing Stardew, and hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. If you do already subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video lands.